After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. Years, you know, and I was the only one that got arrested because I had a warrant that never existed. No, in the you're not. In, you're not in here for the warrant. You're not in here for the warrant. That's you're in here why for the they citation. said they. No, nope. they said they wouldn't Stand right here. me if it wasn't for the Turn warrant. Turn around, face that way. Spread your feet out. He's here for uh, obstructing, obstructing a sidewalk. A sidewalk. He's uh, down on the strip on the bridge. And... I had a very bad week. I came here. I have a house in New Mexico. I told you guys that. I was never here in 2012 when the original warrant allegedly happened. Honestly, dude, get a hold of your crew. Maybe you'll get some stripes. I don't Seriously, want stripes. This is yeah. cool. Turn around here. Turn around, face that way. Spread your feet out. You're going to become an unclass two real soon. Real quick. You look like you're about to break my hand for no reason. Yeah, you're turning around. Where's that officer? Oh, wow. Are you hiding Sorry, something? I turned around. No, I'm not. How do we know that? I don't know. Search my ass. Look, there's no call for our left. This right? is no call for yep. this. He's bending yep. my bone into a yep. chicken I'm bone. I'm going to hold you right here. You're going to turn around. I'm going to control you. Yeah, you are. Dude, the stop mandolin. breaking my hand. See? Stop moving on me. You understand Ow! that? Do you understand that? Ow! Do you understand that? Ow! Stop! Stop! Turn his Stop! 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 Oh my God, dude! Put your hand down your side there, Christopher. How are you doing? Please tell me what crime I committed. Listen, this is what's called a class two. It's a ticket. Okay? If you sign this ticket and calm down, we'll get you out of here in a couple hours. That's a long time, and I'm far away from okay. where I need to Listen, be. Listen, the alternative is I rip this up and you stay here for the weekend. I'll sign it. OK. Oh, that's half of it. The other half is you comply with what we need to get done. OK. okay. I can't wait till Jesus comes Amen back. All right, now, we're, we're ready for it, up. believe me. Pull your pants up. Pull your pants up off your feet. Put these slippers on. There you go. We didn't bring you in here, but we don't need the attitude in here either. You be respectful to us, and we'll be respectful to you, all right? Come on over here. You're going to see the nurse over here. Let them know any medical problems you have or any medications you take. What's going on with uh, Christopher? Well, Christopher was uh, up on the bridge uh, in New York, New York, uh, pretty much blocking pedestrians from walking. Uh, sanitation workers from the county came by, trying to clean up the bridge. They refused to move from them. Um, pretty much nobody could get around. Uh, an officer came out, asked to move, wouldn't move. So uh, they class two him for the obstructing sidewalk. And, He's been warned before, and multiple arrests for the same things. Yeah. Christopher was just here a couple days ago, so I'm thinking he thinks that it's still the same case. Cases are running together. Yeah. OK, thank you. Christopher, how are we doing? I'm OK, dude. I've been okay. fine. I guess they brought you in because you wouldn't get out of the way for the street sweepers or something? Um, that's totally false, but fine. This is the honest to God's truth. What I was informed is that somebody had beat up a child molester, and there was a puddle of dried up blood where we were sitting, and there were several people who had already gathered there. But half an hour ago, everything's on camera. Nobody obviously wanted to charge anyone. They walked away. They're still alive. You know, like, nobody refused to move out of the way for the street sweeper at all, period. That would be a completely dickhead move, and I am not a dickhead. The reason that I got arrested again is for a ticket that happened when I had never been to Nevada. So when you got arrested a couple days ago? It was for that, and now I'm arrested again because I was sitting on the sidewalk when they ran my name, which I gladly gave to them. They were like, oh, you got failures to appear, and they arrested me. It's just I've so never gotten a ticket deal. for jaywalking in Nevada ever, but I've been to jail for one twice. All right, so you're going to be cool we get you through this process and get you out of here? Definitely. OK, because it's just going to be a couple hours. Cool. OK, I don't want to have to right. keep you here for the weekend, so you need to lay low. And... I'll try my best to figure it out. OK. I'm a murderer all of a sudden. No. No? Sure. Nice. Two days ago, you got a charge sheet, and you waited around for the whole process yes. to get out of here? Sucked. Today? You're just getting a ticket. Awesome. Remember, Jesus you act up. Remember that you're nice. If you act up, the sergeant can take this away from you. I know y'all think I'm like a 
fanatic Christian or something, but I'm not. I'm actually an alien from Arcturus, and that's in the Boots constellation. And if you look that up, you'll figure it out. The Boots constellation. The Boots constellation. You're tripping. There's billions of stars. I could make up a Xavier Alpha constellation. Lord, exist. your boys. Sorry that happened, bro. I would be bitter if not you, bro. Neither. We're not related. Fine. We just came from the same Big Bang, but when Christ comes back, he'll explain it all. Come here, young man. Okay, don't sit in the last two rows. Sit anywhere else there. As soon as they print you over there, you're going to release it. So be cool while you're out here. He ain't going to make it. This is the second time in here in three days. We'll see how it works out. Yeah, turn it, come here. For what? Turn and face this way. What am I under arrest for? I don't know. Why are you people harassing me? Here, sit down, buddy. Sit down. Sit. I asked her an answer. You want to answer that? Sit down. I don't know. You don't know why you're harassing me? Harassing you? No. I'm already, I'm already enrolled in law school. I got this handled. I don't know about probable cause, cause of action. Do you know what probable cause of action even means? No, you don't. Can I explain something? No, no. You're not my attorney. You I'm are just, not the I prosecutor. Just want to give you some You're advice. not the prosecutor. Are you going to school for a while? What crime did I commit? Are you going to school what for a while? What crime did I commit? I don't know. Yeah. I don't, I don't no, know. No, no, because I didn't. Well, think of something. But think about Make a stick. The fact that you're under arrest. What, what crime okay. did I commit? I'm going to just. When you're ready to listen, I'll explain it to you. Hey, come on, well, let's go see medical. Come on. Woman. All medical? Stand up. You're, you're not. You're not even Wall Street, money sir. I have. Just walk. You're not uh, listening. Great. You have nothing. I have broken no law. What law did I break? Trespass. I have a key to the hotel where I'm Sir, what's your first name? Fred. Do you drink alcohol? I did at, at Harrah's. So today then, right? Yeah, I was at Harrah's. All right, uh, any drugs? No, I didn't have drugs. Beautiful. You can have this. Come on, brother. Let's go. What were they charged with? Trespass. For what? Come trespass? behind you. Obviously, he's had way too much to drink tonight. And apparently, he got trespass off of Harrah's. You don't know what I'm being charged with yet? Trespass. Where? Harrah's Hotel, sir. Harrah's Hotel. Have, have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Where I have a, a key? Have a seat, Stay seated. That's it. What am I charged with? Don't get up. You've been told five times already. Oh. Sit down. All right. Stand up. They told me to go Stand up. Stand up. I don't know why you cannot follow simple instructions. He told me to stand away from there. No. Relax. Walk. Don't resist, just walk. How? How? You, you got the rope? Right, no right, one's right, breaking right, your right. wrist. No one's breaking your wrist. We tried to get a I chance, and apparently she's like, he's had way too much to drink. He refuses to listen to any instructions whatsoever. Now he's going to go to the side cell. Do look at my arm! If you would just walk like you're supposed to. I'm trying to walk. But you're not. What are you talking about? Stop. I made this very clear to you, sir. I've done nothing. This is your one chance to sit here and calm down. I have not committed a crime. Am I yelling at you? Why are you yelling at me? Ow! Relax. I have heart on my arm. I have heart on my arm. Please stop. Bring your leg up again. Ow. Keep your feet on the floor. Ow! Questions. Ow! Oh, my God. I'm not resisting. I'm not yelling. I'm not resisting. It hurts. You are. Um, sit down. Hurts. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, Sit. my God! Ow! Oh. Keep your feet flat. Dude, my arm is broken. Take away my family. Take away my family, please. No. I live in Torrance. I am running a room here. Dude, I have a room and I paid for my room. You're in this chair because you don't know how to behave. So you're going to spend two hours in this chair, and if you learn to behave, and we, we see you actually trying to behave, then we'll take you out. But you yes. how many times have I told you, personally told you, what you're arrested for? I was really trying to inquire. Are you capable of comprehending basic speech? Apparently, I just wanted to piss you off. Can you can you comprehend basic yes. speech? What were you arrested for? You said it was for um a, for a trespass. Trespass. Okay, you're you said you're in law school, aren't you? Are I you have, in law school? I am. Are you in law school? I'm taking. I'm taking. Are you in law school? Classes. Yes. So I understand as, as a private property owner, do would I have would I have would I have the right to, to keep people like you off of my property? 
as somebody who owns a property, they have the right to keep people like you yes. who don't know how to handle their alcohol right. off their property. That's so they, they read you a formal trespass, and you can, and you continue to come on their property. You were formally trespassed, because you wouldn't be here. That's probable cause. You ready to come out of the chair, man? Yes. OK, we're going to give you a chance. We're going to put you over in another cell, give you a chance to kind of calm down a little bit, and then we'll get you out through the process, all right? It's one thing at a time, all right? Stay quiet for a little bit, and we'll pull you back out. I don't want to come back here ever again. Walk one straight one. in. Get out your walls. Walk your elbows in. Walk to that white wall. Fred's a lot better now than he was when he first came in. Seems like the alcohol is wearing off, so he'll probably be out in a little bit. We'll get him back in the system. Get him rolling, hopefully get him out of here. What did they bring you in here for? Uh, I thought it was George. What for? I don't know how to word that. It couldn't have been possession of a stolen vehicle. Stolen vehicle? Uh, but yeah. I have you taken anything tonight? Yeah. Uh, OK, what are you on right now so I know? A lot of things. Sit down. Like what? Really? Uh, drugs. Xanax, crystal meth, and heroin. All that tonight? Uh, every day. Hand me your jacket. Are you feeling OK right now? I'm cold. I'm That's it? That's your only complaint right now? Oh, no, I haven't ate. But I, I just bought food. I had fresh chicken wings. And did beers. you eat your chicken wings? They didn't let me. That's a damn shame. Let me see your hair accessories, please. Hair accessories? I was like, I don't have them. OK, I'm sorry. What would it be like to be in your head right now? I, I took some Xanax. I don't take Xanax. And um, my friend was going to kill himself because he wasn't with his girl. And uh, well. I told him, you know, if you're going to do this, then I'm going to take half of it. Well, wow. you know, But it was so he didn't kill himself on him, you know? You did it so you saved his life by taking that Zanny bar and a half? Um, well, Is that what I understand? Pretty yeah, much, yeah, because if he would have took not even a whole, not even a whole half of a half of a half more, then yeah, he would have That's a lot died. of halves. Can you stand up? Can you put your hands behind your head? Yes. Don't play with your hair. Just set them on top of your head. Yeah, I was. I was playing with my hair. I was brushing it. I mean, I know you wouldn't brush your hair how I did. Well, I mean, that's fine. you're and a real the, woman. And, and there's a time and place for that, though. Right now, it's not it. Come on over here. I want you to sign right here for your property. How's it going inside there? Inside where? Your head. No disrespect. I'm sorry. I need Xanax. Otherwise, he would have took what he took and what I took. Is that your last? Oh, we're still going. OK, we're still signing. Aaron, come on. Walk with me. He's never took them before, you know what I mean? Right. Right over here. And he was taking them and trying to kill himself because his little girlfriend he was in love with. Right here. This is Aaron. Because I knew I wouldn't matter. Yes, what's your last thing? What happened? Last thing. I don't know exactly what she's on or how she usually handles it, but at the rate she's going, I mean, it takes her two hours to watch 60 minutes. Are you taking medication at all, Miss? Legally or illegally? Apparently, once we got in here, she livened up, but uh, she's pretty quiet on the way here. Mm -hmm. She was just arrested for a warrant. How did you find her? They called us. She was apparently disoriented in front of the Water. business, panhandling, and got the attention of us. So the warrant was for possession of stolen vehicle. Oh, OK. That makes more sense now, what she was trying to tell me. Aaron, come on. I was just seeing if there was one here, like there was one in the city. I was Why do you need a sergeant? Because I'm pretty sure he could give me some crackers or something. A sergeant? You think a sergeant has crackers? No, I'm saying he could make this job do something about some kind of crackers. Right? And why would he help you out with that? Okay. Turn and face that direction. Okay. Turn and face that direction. You can physically turn your my body whole and still stay in the box. Hold still. Don't move. I guess I am dumb enough that you have to speak yet. I did word. not talk to you like you were dumb. Can you oh. straighten out your head? OK, that's like the opposite of straightening out your head. Oh. Turn your body to the right. The whole thing, right? The whole thing. Okay. Aaron, how many times have you been here? I think when I was 18 once, and then, well, and then, um... Just give me a, a, an estimate. How many times do you think you've been here? No, I'm going to give you the right answer. Uh, 
Okay, Aaron, you've been here 16 times. Maybe five. I think you should lighten up on your uh, drug use. I should quit my drug use. Well, that's, I was talking about baby steps, but yeah, you should. You're right, I have been taking baby steps. Tonight was not baby steps, and I understand you didn't want to take all that Xanax, but you had to. Uh, yes. At any time, did you think, maybe I should tell him don't take Xanax bars? I did, I couldn't stop him. That you could not stop him. I was him. like, okay, well, thought if I say, hey, well, I'm taking some too, then that let, makes it half less that he will ingest. Oh, okay, that makes more sense now. Come on, Aaron. Here's your paperwork, okay? There's your felony bench warrant that you were talking about. That's why you're here, but you know that. Go have a seat in the first row. If you need anything, you raise your hand. Aaron, you gotta actually walk with your feet that okay, way. But can I ask you a question again? Can you ask a little faster? No, not right now, so I guess I won't. Thank you, Aaron. Uh, she's come down a lot since she first came in, but she's also getting a little more emotional, getting a little angry now. Part of the process of detoxing, so she's gonna, especially if she's been doing heroin, she's gonna have a rough time in here. Oh, were you just sleeping? Yeah, man, I was waiting for somebody else, and the gold dude took off to, I don't know what, what he was doing, but, uh... What guy? The gold man. The gold guy? Yeah, he's been in here before. So yeah, you guys work together? Yeah, he's kind of... Nah, I just started working with him. You just started working together? Yeah. And uh, do you just, like... I'm wondering, am I gonna get my money back, dude? Because, uh... The, the officer that, that woke me up and was being rude and stuff, he he uh he had my money. And I'm wondering if I'm gonna get that back. If that's in if that's in my property How much money? It was like sixty bucks. It was okay. in my property report though. Let me let me talk to the arresting officer about your money situation and I'll explain everything to you, okay? All right. Okay. Sir, take a seat right here. Your officer was very, very rude, he disrespected me. And so like what I told him was like, dude, you're a an ass. The officer issued you a ticket, okay? You're gonna sign the ticket, you're gonna go through the process, and then we'll release you. That's okay? fine. The $60, it could be in your belongings, but we don't have it. Fine. Okay? All right, you know what? Honestly, you think that your officer, your officer took it? You know what I mean? Like, you're Please that. stand up, we're gonna go see the medical staff at this time. I'm done with you. We can go see the medical staff. I can't even finish talking to you, huh? No. Well, well, well that, that's what it is, though. I'm just talking. Well, we're just uh, numbers, we're yeah. 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 Just a number to you guys, huh? Take a seat over there. Yeah. 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 Did you just bring in the guy with the silver paint on? Yeah. He was not disgruntled with you? Not with me, with the officers that arrested him. He, he thought the officers had, had basically tapped him on the head to wake him up. But when the it was his buddy who was tapping him on the head. Okay. Was that the performer that's all dressed in gold there? Yeah. He's upset at the officers for arresting him for sleeping. He had some nice words to say to the officers. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, you bet. Eduardo, what brings you to jail here today? To be honest, I kind of blacked out after. <laughs> kind of blacked out? Yeah, when I was over there, I blacked out. I forgot what happened. So where were you? I was in a circus circus. I was coming back. I was looking for my wife, my wife, uh, my wife and her, her family. Who do you think beat you up? Honestly, I forgot. You don't know? No, I forgot. I'm trying. I, I was, I'm trying to remember right now. All right. Take a seat right there. Let me see your hands there. Hey, you don't know why you came to jail today? No, yeah, it was for a battery. Battery. I said about me and my wife. All I remember is like her uncle holding me, and then everybody's I don't know going crazy in there. Was it a family reunion? Yeah, it was a family, yeah. yeah. Oh, and you were at the hospital? Yeah, I was at the hospital, yeah. Okay, let's go out of here and see the medical staff. Let's go out to row two, chair number two. The medical staff will be seated. I have a seat in my uh, first row. That's the uh, Officer Lopez, do you know who beat him up there? From what I, I ascertained was uh, his, his fiance got him in the eye, but I guess she took more of the 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 fight. She, she basically has a lot of injuries to herself, too. OK. What happened to you? Oh, no, I, I, I just went to my room, and I don't know where, boom. I don't know, I guess they, they told me that I, got, I had a confrontation with my wife. Boom, I got hit. Yeah? I got sick. So your the wife beat your ass? I guess, I guess she did. <laughs> she <laughs> you up, bro. Yeah, she did. I've been there before. Yeah. Daniel. 
Come on down here. Let's get your picture taken. That's All right, man. That's it. All right, man. Have a nice day. Enjoy, bro. Stop getting fights, man. No, no. Yeah, no, no more fights. Don't behave now. <laughs> All right, man. I'll, I'll see you out there. All right, we'll fight. Hector, come on up here. I need one signature from you. Yeah. OK, but you're charged with battery domestic violence. Let's go out to the next room. Okay. If you have any questions while you're out here, raise your hand. Hey, right, first two rows. Hector seems pretty nonchalant about what he's being charged with. I don't think he understands the seriousness of his charges. Daniel, left-hand side. This is Daniel's first arrest here for vagrancy. He'll be out of here uh, real soon, and he'll be out there entertaining the tourists of Las Vegas. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I was born and raised in Salt Lake City. I've lived here most of my life. There's lots of outdoor activities. People like hunting and fish and skiing. Me, myself, I like to watch my kids' athletic competitions. My son plays baseball. My daughter played soccer for a number of years. And that's how I spend the majority of my time. Looks like somebody got combative with the arresting agency. He's down on the ground right now. What happened? He was trying to get him to come this way, and he started resisting, and he just dropped him right here. Did he fall on his own then? No, the officer took him down. OK. What's your name, guy? You. Oh, yeah, alrighty then. Well, that's not the right answer we're looking for. We're gonna stand you up and put you in a wheelchair. And we're gonna take you inside the jail, all right? You gonna give us any hassle? Okay, that's that's a good answer. Okay, you ready, Thomas? There we send you up. One, two, three. Turn around. Have a seat. There you go. Okay, keep your feet up. Don't Let's put him in that corner back there. Or else what? You dare? You dare or you're what? Jim, stand him up, get him out of there. Jim, stand up. Turn around. Turn around, sit down. Or else what? Sit down. Or else what? Sit down. Or else what? You need to listen and comply. Can you get it? Or else what? Don't try and kick. Or else what? Go ahead and back up. What? Ah, whoa, whoa, what? You're going to pick up more charges if you keep acting like that. Or else what? So what would you pick Thomas up for? We responded out to the strip club on an intoxicated male. Initially, when I pulled up, he was trying to walk northbound on stage to get away from me. I had to yell at him to get him to stop, gave him several commands, got him to stop and come back. Uh, search incident to arrest. We ended up locating uh, two purses inside his backpack belonging to a female. Uh, obviously, okay. so we're investigating that. What happened out in the parking lot here with him? He was threatening to kill me. He was turning around, trying to get away from me, and was yelling. So, should be an interesting search. Yeah. Thanks. Thomas, you don't have anything sharp on you, do you? Come on, dude. I'm nice gonna take a piss, dude. The sooner we get done with this search, the sooner you'll be able to go to the restroom. All right? Dude, I got it. You don't just tell us what to do. You just listen to what we need to do. Well, all right? I'm gonna take a piss. We're gonna get you just, there. Dude, just. I gotta take, Thomas, I gotta take a piss. Thomas, we need to calm down. I gotta take a oh. piss. We can finish this search right here and get you to the bathroom, or it's going to take a lot longer. We can do it in a padded cell. You're halfway done. Don't mess it up now, OK? Hey. Move your feet apart, Jesus. Thomas. Hey. Thomas. Oh, I got to touch this. Hush. You need to stop, Thomas. All right? Hey, hey. Yep. don't touch me. Oh. Get this look off Thomas. me. Hey, yep. don't. Let's just take him to the padded cell, prone him out. Hey. We'll do this. Take this look off Thomas. me. Thomas. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I gotta take a fist. Ah! Hey, all right. All right, Thomas, listen to me, all right? Let me go. You put your head right in that corner right here. Or else you put your head right in that corner. Or else what? Let me go. OK, Thomas, when this door closes, back up to the cuff port, lean forward at the waist, so and we'll get these cuffs off. You can or go to the bathroom, not. OK? Or else not. I got it. I got it. You got it. Come on, right man. Here. OK, Thomas, step inside. Oh, you, you. Thomas, 
As soon as you calm down, we can get you through the process. Open the door He's continued this type of behavior. During the search process, he became non-compliant. We had to bring him in here. Continued the search in a prone position. He patted cell. Nothing further. We're going to check in on Thomas. Uh, he's in our padded cell. He's been in here yelling, been agitated. I'll see how close he is to getting booked in. Thomas, come here. Let's get you checked out by the nurses. Thomas, can you put your back against the wall right there for me, bud? Put your arm down, OK? I don't actually. Are you drinking tonight, using any drugs? You going to talk to us? That's OK. You're OK. Come here, Thomas. All right, well, that's fine. Thomas. All right. I'll try again later. All right, Thomas, go back to sleep. We'll give you a couple more hours, all right? Give me a drink. Give me a drink. We'll leave him in there until he sobers up and is able to comply with our instructions and get him through the process, get him down to a bed, or get him bailed out. Sarasota is known for its tropical climates, and with that, we get a lot of situations um, where the heat aggravates things, which tends to make the crime rate rise a bit. But one thing with the heat, we always got the air conditioning on here, and Sheriff Knight will provide them with a, a cool place to stay for the evening. OK, Christopher's coming in here with some serious charges, battery, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. We're going to talk to the arresting deputy to see what the story is. Tell me what happened. I responded to the incident location for a battery. When I got there, there was a fight in progress. Um, screamed at him to get off of him. He was fully compliant, came off. Um, went in and checked on the victim. He had several cuts, had a bloody eye. Witness outside told me that he had a piece of glass stuck to the victim's neck. All right. How are we doing? You're fine. Stand up for me. And for with all due respect, I would never hurt anybody. Look at me. And that guy's a redneck. Do you have anything on you I need to know about? No. You can check me all you want. Just don't grab me in the balls. <laughs> well, I got to check his certain Because you know what? Cops like balls, too. All right. Stay facing the wall. What do you do here? Me? I'm a. I mean, no. Okay, I do well, care, custody, and control. You, but your haircut, I can't stand it. How high and tight can you get? It looks like a. No, and I told those. Oh, it looks like a what? Well, you don't want to hear it. I'll tell you. Uh, first. Yeah, I want to hear it. Enlighten me. Well, I enlighten you. It looks like you're gonna. Nothing. It's too short. Put it that way. Well, if I told you I'd been in the military for well, 20 years, yeah, would that well, help you? Well, no, that's why you're a cop. OK, what I need oh, you to do now, you. go ahead and take your jewelry off real quick. Actually, one will not come off. OK, no. we'll try in there with some lotion. If you cut it off, I will sue you. OK, oh, I'm going to need that gone. stylish belt. I like that belt, sir. Yeah, well, they all like that belt. Well, you can't have it. I'm teasing you. Sir, you're going to hurt Please. my feelings. No, stop it. I'm not picking on you either. I just want to get animal All right, put your you hands guys. up on the wall for me. Don't get silly. Two wrongs do not make a right. All right, so don't make yourself wrong. I'm not wrong, sir. I need you to step right in here for me, sir. Go on straight ahead, straight ahead. Have a seat. I'm not being a prick. I just know the law, OK? I live with a cop, and my ex-lover is a cop, OK? So get a grip. You can look at me all you want, honey. You're beautiful. Thank you. And I love your hair, by the way. Thank you very much. He doesn't like mine, though. Well, no. I don't like yours, either. Please, it looks like you just showed you. Listen, no, yeah, no more unnecessary <laughs> comments. I already heard what you said. I, I got I out know. there. I mean, it was not very awful. nice. That was not I very wish nice. I could do it. I'd make it look better. Yeah. OK, okay you tell us about the out. fight. Tell us about the fight. Well, now they locked me out. And I have Johnson, all my possessions in that house. I pay all ones. the rent and everything in this house. And they locked me out because I'm gay. OK. Well, yeah. Uh, well, you all love to hear that. There are gay cops, OK? No. <laughs> Thank you for making me laugh. You're welcome. The good thing about our job is it doesn't really no, matter. No, I know, but there are. Come on, not everybody the is. Sexual like preference Mr. does not matter well, when it comes to the law. We don't care. 
You're determined. I am very determined. That ring will not come off my finger unless you break my finger, okay? It's my marriage ring. Okay, you can know we... who that was? A cop. 27 can we... years can we do this? Can office. we do yeah, this? Yeah, well... Ow! Oh! Like that. You got my ring off? I did. Oh, I wanted to hug you. No. That no. ring hasn't been off my foot. No. no hugging deputy shades. Yeah. Oh, I can't hug you? No. no. Absolutely not. No, honey, you got that ring off? I did. Boy! Weird. I'm shocked. So okay, go, listen. Over there. go to it. Go away. All right, stand up. We're going to go and change you out now, okay? Go in the inmate shower. He's a ball of last for the time being. Quite a teller of tall tales. Tall tales. Stand up. Step out. Right there. Yeah. Great section of wall, right there. Come on, we got to take your photo. Come here. I don't mind you right touching me, okay? It's the way the man handled people. Man handlers? Look right there. What about? about your picture to bring with me. Because no. you're beautiful. Oh, you're thank you. you are gorgeous, honey. I appreciate and it. And don't let them mess with you. Oh, no one messes with me. <laughs> She's got a fan club. I have a heart of stone. I hate your haircut. It looks terrible. What, what is wrong with my haircut, sir? Oh, come on. Why don't you ask your friends? You're shaved all the way up, and you got, what, a high and tight so. You might as well go back in the army. I was never in the army, sir. Well, no, I hate your haircut. I was in it the Marine It doesn't go with your face shape. And that's my It doesn't go with my face shape? No, you got a long nose. And I got a long <laughs> Now I got ugly hair and a and long now nose. now you got fine hair, and you're right shaved here. like ball that looks like a. What's it look like? You ain't going to hurt my feelings. Yeah, you sure? Yes. You look like an uncircumcised head. <laughs> sorry. Hey, I... I'm sorry. It's terrible. It's terrible. It is. And you're telling me to be it nice. Is. I like my hair. Come on. God gave you hair. At least grow some, all right? You, you know what? Yeah, really. I'm going to go home and shave it bald now. <laughs> I'm going to be bald. No, I'm okay. not picking on you. I just hate it. Yeah. You like it like that? Well, I hate it. That's my opinion. Okay. okay. We all have one. Well, have a okay. seat over there for me. Apparently, Christopher there thinks highly of you, loves your haircut, but does not care for me a whole lot. I think that if you grew your hair out a little bit, he would like you so much better than me. He's got some pretty serious charges here. He's probably going to go upstairs tonight. He's a character, though. <laughs> I'll give him that. Hey, Mr. You got anything sharp or anything that's, gonna, anything that's gonna poke me when I pat you down? I hope not. Do you normally carry sharp things in your pocket? Not really. Well, sometimes, but what? not today. You sure? Yeah. You been in here before? Yes, sir. Been drinking a little bit tonight? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take your handcuffs off. When I do, put your hands up on the counter, okay? Thank you, sir. Okay, spread your feet. Okay, sir. This is really gay. Why would you say that? Well, because I'm in jail, sir. There you go. Okay, we're gonna try getting that ring off. Good luck, there. sir. This can't come off. Oh, I've been it. trying to get it off for last month. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll try to get it off. Good luck. Hey, if you get it off, we'll go to my property. Of course it will. I'll get it back. Yes. Good. What's his charge? Uh, disorderly conduct and trespass, too. Okay. Yeah, there's a girlfriend. You're out where was he being trespassed from? But she can't. He just starts walking down the street, throwing cans at people's yes. cars, yelling. Ma'am. Throwing your cans at cars. Yeah. Actually, a can of <laughs> tomato paste. He's Officer. Oh, damn. I wish you would stop. Yeah, I wish you would. Ow. Seriously, that hurts. You've been assigned to your property there at the bottom. I hope I don't stay. You've been here before? Yeah. What would you get charged with last time you were here? Probably the same <laughs> See a pattern here? Probably don't want to drink when you go to jail. Yeah, because then I don't remember why I'm here. All right, let's go this way. Grab all your stuff, let's go. Here. We going right now, or am I going to sit down? Right now. All right, cool. No, He's a neighborhood cool. terror. 21, got a house, and no responsibilities. I don't know how he makes money, but, well, I know how he's, there's I a lot of things turning around the neighborhood. the neighborhood with a bunch of low lives, too. Yeah, there's so. a lot of stolen stuff happens in the neighborhood, so. Well, I can say it's my project for the next eight years. All right. Am I going to the holding cell? Yeah. I'm going to go sober oh, up. Oh, man. I'm going to sober up a little bit here. You know, remember throwing, God damn it. You know, remember throwing cans at cars? No, sir. I don't remember that at all, huh? 
But oh well. OK, right. go take your shoes off. Got my hat? No, I'll leave it in there. Got it, Step on in. Uh, we're going to go check on Michael, see how he's doing. He came in pretty inebriated, so we put him in isolation. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Mike. Looks like he's not going to want to wake up. He is out. Hey, Mike. Hey, Michael. Wake up. Hey, Michael. Hi. I want you to lay on the floor, Michael, on your side. Come on. Can we get you to lay on the floor if you want to sleep? Hey, Mike. Hey, why don't you come lay on the floor? Hey, Mike, come on. I want you to lay on the floor, because I don't want you getting sick, throwing up, and choking. How much did you drink tonight, Mike? Not much. Not, Not much. much? Go ahead down on the floor. Not much. Why don't you go ahead and sit down on the floor there and lay down? Yeah. Lay down on your side. On your side. Push your back against the wall so that you're on your side there. So what were you drinking is what I want to know. Hard liquor or beer? Beer. What time did you start drinking today? Like at about 10.30. OK. All right, stay on your side, because you know you don't want to throw up and choke. OK? We want you to make it through this. All right? Okay. All right, Mike, go ahead and sleep it off. Maybe you'll feel better when you uh, get some sleep there. Yeah. All right? Yeah. All right, good night. Imagine he'll probably be like that for at least a couple more hours before he's ready to come out of there. But he won't even remember coming in. What's your name? Tanya. Do you know what you're being arrested for, Miss Tanya? No. Actually, I don't, because you guys will figure it out. Well, gonna, we'll eventually get your paperwork in, though. Very disappointed. I am liking those pants. Very 80s. Is this your first time in jail? No, but it's my last time. I hope. <laughs> Hands up on the wall. On oh, the wall. I'm sorry. I'm so used to putting it behind my back. I'm going to go with DUI. Am I right? I'm not driving. Oh. Was I close? No. No? You're so far away. We'll see. When I, as soon as I get your paperwork. Trust me, you guys are so disappointed. Aww, don't say that. You're going to be taking these right off. All right, come on. All the way down. What do I need to do? Put your right thumb right here on the red light. Thumb. There you go. Is that it? That's it. I got you. OK. So you were fighting with your daughter? Is that why you're here? Yes. What were you fighting over? Well, it was a boy in the house, and I disagree. How old is your daughter? She's 19, but she still lives in my house. Absolutely. So you have you know? rules. So hey, I just saw his shoes, and I went in there, and he was that in there. Was that? He was in the yeah. bedroom. With yes. Her? Oh, and on the couch. Oh, I gotcha. So you started arguing over that? Yes. You were throwing stuff at her? Yes. What'd you throw at her? Everything. Everything? Wow. <laughs> Stand right here. Me? Strike a pose. Come over here. Stand right here and face that way for me. OK, you guys got it. So did your daughter call the cops? Was she the one that called the cops? Yes. How many times so have you called the cop. How many times have you gone home and found a boy in the house? This is my very first time and I was very disappointed. Well, where were you that you weren't home and you didn't see that? Nothing. Well, I was out party. Ah, there it is. Welcome to Vegas. Right there. Have a seat right there. How long you've been in Vegas? 15 years. Oh. All right. Pant legs up past your knees. Got it. I'm digging those pants. Where'd you get these at? Isn't these cool? My daughter yeah. said, don't wear them. Why? See, she's old jealous. School. She's jealous. No, they're just old school. Did he run out when you were? Yes, he ran right out the door. Wow. He's a little older than her. How you much? You know, like, he looks about 20 years old. And so, I don't like that. Yeah. Did y'all get in a fight? Yes. Yes, she you sucked her or you No, her? she sucked me. Where did she hit you at? Why? What? what? 
This is your first fight? It's just my baby. But you gotta let her grow up. I had her when I was 18 years old. So this is why I do this. You don't want her to be like you. I don't want her to follow in my footsteps. I'm sure you can. You know? Here I am. Hopefully next time you guys won't argue. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here's a copy of your charges. Okay. You actually came in on a warrant for soliciting. Gotcha. Okay, so it wasn't because of the fight with your daughter. It was because when the cops came and when she called the cops. I understand that. They pulled and you had a warrant. I okay. understand that. Okay, so that's your charge. I'm going to send you out here. Okay. And we're going to complete the process for you, Thank okay? You. Thank you. Do you have any questions? No. Okay. Come on, Tony. So you're gonna sit in the first row. Don't get up without raising your hand. Don't talk to the males, okay? okay. All right, if you need anything, raise your hand. It's just like school. Yeah. All right? Good luck, Tanya. Thank you. Tanya is in here for a warrant, which is soliciting, which is ironic because the whole reason why she's in here is she got in a fight with her daughter for having a boy in the house. She's calmed down a lot, and I'm gonna get her through the process. During my career as a corrections officer, I've seen some pretty strange things. I've seen prisoners bite their fingers off. I've seen some pretty outlandish fights that have sent prisoners to the hospital. You never know what your day is going to be like in this career until you get to work. Use drugs? I do not use drugs. Me use drugs? Do I look like I'm on drugs? Sounds like one of our female prisoners is getting rowdy with some of the other prisoners on the bench. Let me go see what's going on. I don't want to go. Well, let's get done here first. I'm going to, okay, well, okay, well, hold on until we get done. This is what happens when okay, you're a Okay, pay attention girl. to what I'm saying, okay, Danielle? Yeah. Girls. Settle down, Danielle. We'll okay. get you to a restroom. Yeah, I have to pee. Have you been drinking in the last 24 hours, Danielle? Yes, I have. Okay, what have you drunk? Like a pint of whiskey. Big okay. deal. What are you here for, Danielle? Public in talks. Okay. Drinking on my own front lawn. Okay, why don't you take off the rest of your rings and your watch? This one's gonna be tricky. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, it's coming. It's coming. Mmm. It's almost there. Oh. Here it is. Okay, All and right. then you have a couple piercings in here. Yep, face. I have an eyebrow. Yep, get them. I don't know how to do it. Just boogers hanging on it. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I can't. Okay. Well, I have gloves, so. You want the spreader? Yeah, I think so. Here you go. Go How? Is it gone? You know what? Let's just leave it. You know what? I've got it, though. You got it? Yeah. Oh, okay. My fingernails did the trick better oh, than the okay. spreaders. There we go. All right. Good. Take that one out. I rather you do it. You're not the first one that's had to do this. That's what you get for having all those piercings, huh? No, that's what you get for being drunk in public. Be humiliated. Okay, now turn around. Put your back on the mat. Okay, take your pinkies. Put them in your mouth. Hook them out. Danielle, pinkies. There you go. We're gonna go up. Down. Down. <laughs> Okay. Okay, Danielle, open your mouth. Lift up your tongue. Okay. All right. Okay. Come Let's with go. me. Okay, all right, Danielle, go in there and take a nap, all right? All right. See you in a few hours. Right. We're going to leave Danielle in the P cell for uh, a few hours at least. She is very intoxicated. She calmed down a lot from when she was out on the bench. I think she'll be all right in a few hours. It's 
So we're going to check on Danielle, see if she's sobered up here. Danielle. Danielle. Come here. We got to have the nurses check you real quick. OK? Do I look better after every hour? Danielle, are you still still drinking or using drugs tonight? Drinking. OK, do you drink all the time or just on occasion? Oh, all the time. Do you have problems when you don't drink? Yeah. What happens? <laughs> OK, calm down. OK. Can you drink it first? Yeah. Um, what flavor? They're blue. Blue. Uh, can I pick? No. no. Blue is what you oh. Okay, drink as much as you can right Blue's now. Blue's a good stuff. All right, come on, hurry, Danielle. You got to drink it right now. Oh, yeah. I have to drink it in front of you? I no, can't no, take no. it in and sit yeah. down and no. relax? No. It's oh. smearing off, so let's go. Here we go. Yeah. All right, Danielle. Excellent. How was that? All right, go ahead and go to sleep. Uh, Danielle, go in there. She's still way too drunk to come out. I'm sure a couple hours of rest, a few more Gatorades, she'll be like a totally different person. We'll be able to get her through the process, hopefully get her released. several things that are jumping off at one time down here in booking, but that's what we go through training for. That's pretty much when it kicks in. Main job is to keep everybody safe and to get everyone processed through. Listen up. All right, I'm going to take the handcuffs off. Put your hands up on the wall, OK? So how did the cops even come in contact? On trumped up charges. What kind of trumped up charges? The misuse of 911. I already sat in here Keep your hands up there. Keep your hands up there. I already sat in here for it. So what'd you do tonight? Was it a warrant or what? That's what they said. So what happened to your face? Me and my cousin got into a fight. Got in a fight at the house? Well, have a medical look at that. They already did. Our medical. Don't people. touch it. I'm not touching okay. it. Go around, go around this third aisle. Here, turn around. Go see medical. No, I don't want to see medical. Oh, you, you got to see medical. No, just, just throw me in your dungeon. Okay. Our dungeon's broke tonight. Walk down that way. Go see medical. No, I refuse. I refuse. Well, we, OK, we got to ask you a question then. All right. Do you want to hurt yourself? Yes, I do. Oh, come on over here. No, 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 no. I will do yeah, it. See. I hurt myself. Well, I'm, I'm not going to let you myself. hurt yourself. We gotta get I the, will. We got to get the camera. Oh, right. give me a break. What, are you going to pull your teeth out? Yes. Let's bring him over here. here. Bring him in there, guys. Here. Let's go. We're gonna, the cuffs. We'll use my cuffs. You don't want to hurt yourself. Yes, I do. Oh, we have a guy who's just uh, acting the fool. He, uh, he's saying he wants to hurt himself now, and he's uh, you know, trying to bite his fingers. Why are you doing this? Because I want to. Don't get off. I like to. I like you. I want you. Oh, watch, watch, don't Face forward. Oh, no, no, don't do that. Stop no. resisting, and we won't have to do this by force. All right, come on, have a seat. Tuck your hands down. Oh, don't do that. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, don't do that. Don't do it. Don't do that. All right. Now, sometimes you got to uh, got to protect these people from themselves. Unfortunately, it sounds like he's got some sort of a mental crisis going on. Cops are idiots. They're idiots. Show me that you can be quiet for 20 minutes, and I'll come get you. Yeah, I got a loss. All right. Separate your feet. She was booked in as a Jane Doe. I'm not Jane Doe. My name is Sherelle. If you would have ran my car, okay. you dummy. So I'm not Jane Doe. Check all that we'll, dumb we'll ass. Change the name. Shut up. Thank you. All right, let's take our medical. Hurry up. I'm ready to lay down. Dummy. Come on, my car couldn't register. I wish I would have known that. Well, I was riding around with no ID. My blood pressure up right now, dummy. Run my car, you dummy. <laughs> He said, I can't find you. Sorry. You ain't gonna never find me. That's why I don't carry your ID. And you see my wallet? It had nothing in there, huh? Stupid. Have a seat. Go ahead and have a seat. I'll talk to you in a little bit. 
a uh, citizen flagged me down. So there were some children in a vehicle. And uh, I went and checked on a, there was like a blue Nissan sitting in the parking lot with the windows partially down. I looked in the back seat, and there, sure enough, there's a little a baby sitting in an infant seat in the back. And then there's a eight-year-old child just sitting there crying. He said his mom went in to get some CDs. You know, I, I, it How wasn't hot an is emergency. it outside it right wasn't. now? <laughs> it, I had dispatch check and it was 95 degrees outside. It was over 20 minutes and she just left these kids in the car. So just two counts of child endangerment. Anthony, we got to take you out of the chair. Are you going to scream and yell? No. You got to calm down, man, because if you don't calm down, we can't take you out of the chair. All right. We're going to take you out. You need to be nice. Oh, yeah, absolutely. All right, I know. I'm beautiful. All right. We're going to take you out and let you go lay down in there, OK? Oh, beautiful. That works? Oh, right. yeah, that works fine. Here, stand up. All right, step on in. We'll come wake you up for breakfast. You calm now? Yes, ma'am. This is good? The babies are OK? Yeah. They all right. They so. not all right, because mama right here. I mean, they daddy got them. They oh, right. so yeah, they, they did have somebody pick them up. Yeah, all that. So you got to realize it's hot out there. We in triple digits, even at nighttime. So people are going to be watching. You can't no just way. leave them. It yeah. was cool to me. Yeah. But probably, you know. Lesson yeah, learned. Hey, you know. Taking. Well, you know. Lesson learned, though, right? Exactly. Hey, just stay calm the way you have been. Yes, ma'am. OK. Y'all heard that, right? Yeah. OK. <laughs> she seems to be OK. A good thing somebody, a good citizen, was able to point out those children were in the car, because yeah. this is Vegas, and it gets extremely hot. The sun goes down, but the heat does not go away. So what'd you do tonight? Me and my cousin got into a little fight. Metro pulled up on us. Mm -hmm. They were in both of us. He didn't come to jail, no. just you? Yeah, he, he's in jail, too. Oh, he's yeah. here, too. I'm going to talk to a lawyer. It's not the guy that arrested you, fault. When they come and stop you on the street, if you show an active warrant, he's got to bring you to jail. But they, but it should, well, but it should not be. I was here. I understand that. I did, I did my time here. I understand that. Just go through the process like everybody else, and you'll be out of here probably by this afternoon. All right? Take a nap. We'll wake you up for breakfast. He had an active warrant, so they brought him to jail. And uh, he's not too happy about that, apparently. So um, what could have been a nice, easy stay in jail turned into uh, the mess that we had tonight. I see uncooperative people every time I come to work. The vast majority of people go, man, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. And then nine times out of 10, I'll see them up in the housing units later, and then they'll start telling me other pieces of their story. And I'm like, well, you didn't tell me that when you were on the booking counter. And then um, there's a moment of clarity for both usually me and the inmate as well. What brings you in today? Uh, warrant. Warrant. What was the warrant for? Felony for heroin, cocaine, and methamphetamine distribution. So how'd they catch you? Were you doing something in an area you weren't supposed to be in, or what? Uh, I don't know. I guess so. You got some pills here. What are those pills? Um, I'm not sure. My girlfriend gave them to me. I'm not sure what they are for that's, sure. That's quite the girlfriend. So she just gave you a big little bundle of pills. No, I'm supposed to be taking them to her, to my girlfriend. Mm, so where'd you get them from? From another person that gave them to me. But you don't know what they are. No, I do not know what they are. So why do you have all those little baggies? I do do jewelry, yes. Yeah, what do you do, like earrings? Beads. Beads? Necklaces. Does he have any jewelry with him today over there? Or just, no, I don't, or just but I usually bags? do. I usually do have jewelry with me. Six, seven jewelry bags, and not a bead to speak of. Not a Swarovski crystal, nowhere. All right, grab your gear. Why don't you go ahead and have a seat in front of the TV? What was the name of the pills again? These are Suboxone or Buprenorphine. That's a Schedule Three narcotic synthetic opiate. Those pills are used for people coming off of methadone or opiate withdrawals. Correct. Yeah, and it's also, you know, users that aren't using it under the care of a physician. If it's got a street value, I'm not exactly sure how much, but enough of these can get get a high. It's like he had everything he needs to go ahead and petition them out a little bit and make maybe make a couple of dollars Absolutely. off of it. Not good. All righty. So quick question. Does your girlfriend use heroin or methadone? Yeah, she, she has a prescription for buprenorphine. For, 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 uh, 
For those pills? Yes, yes. But you didn't say you knew what they were a little while ago. I, do, I didn't, but when you, but I overheard the lady talking, and then I remember, recall that she has a prescription for those pills. So she has a prescription. So why are you bringing her those pills? Because that I had them. I had. I accidentally had them on me at the time. I accidentally had them on me at the time. Didn't you say somebody gave you those pills to give no, to her? Nobody gave them to me to give to her. I, oh, I so you weren't telling I, me the truth back then? I was. At, well, I was. No, I. I I had them on me by, by accident. How do you accidentally have pills well, I have, I have in a bag in your inner pocket? How do you accidentally well, I, do that? I, I didn't even, I forgot. Here, let me help you out. She was she Michael. wearing your jacket at one point? She yes, actually she put them in there? She oh, was wearing my coat at one time. We both had the same jacket. Oh, the same we color, have, the same have, size we jacket. We had two pairs. black ones uh, and green And she, ones. you took her jacket on accident, no, and that's why those no, were there. No, no, I don't know. I don't know about that. And so the drugs just happened to be in the jewelry bags, and there were extra jewelry bags with you, right? They're her pills, man. Okay, gotcha. Honestly. All right. You're, you're, you're okay. Nervous. I'm gonna come back and touch base with you in a little bit. You're making me nervous. I'm making you nervous. I'm about ready to cry. I'm about ready to cry. Huh? You're about ready to cry. We don't yeah. want that, do we? Yeah. Okay, I, I'm gonna give you some time to compose yourself, and then I'll be back and talk to you in a little bit. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, officer. Just curious if you're gonna wind up charging him for an introduction or uh, possession. At this point, what I'm gonna be doing is taking it with me putting it in my property and letting the arresting officers know they're with our drug and vice division. Let them know if they want to add charges or maybe a DA will look at this and issue charges. Yeah, right. So I'm just going to book, book this into property and let them decide later. Gotcha. So remember when um, I was talking to you earlier, I said I wasn't sure what the officer was going to wind up doing with those pills that were found? This way over here, partner. Well, stop there. Well, he was only the transport officer. So he's going to write a quick report and send it to the arresting officers and leave that up to their discretion and find out what they want to do with it. So you'll know probably within the next day or so if they're going to charge him this. But man, you got to make better choices. And hopefully we won't be seeing you in here anytime soon. SPD just brought in a uh, subject that seems to be pretty intoxicated. What's going on, man? What do we got? Uh, we have somebody who was upset at somebody and threw some chicken at him and some <laughs> beef patties. <laughs> chicken and beef, huh? Yes. And he ended up picking up a two by four with nails on it, swung it at a lady, and hit her in the hand. All right, so you guys are hitting with battery or aggravated, aggravated battery? Aggravated trespass. battery. Yes. Any trespass? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, we'll get them out, we'll get them processed, and get them inside. Okay. <laughs> nice to see you again. What's going on? I knocked on her beauty salon door. Someone came to the door. I said, I have some stuff I, I would like to offer you for a small donation. They just came, she went and got a sword. A, a sword? Giant, a giant swam of samurai warrior sword. It was a samurai sword? Yeah. Holy cow, was she swinging it at you? She didn't swing it. Oh, OK. Who was swinging it then? Nobody? Listen, listen, you want to play jokes with me? I'm, I'm not playing, playing jokes. I'm look. trying to figure out what's going on I'm with I'm telling you. you, you won't listen. I am listening. You know, I was upset. OK, you know. Then she went and grabbed the samurai sword. I did not lift a finger, one hand, at them. OK. All right, well, we're going to get your process in here, all right? You're going to cooperate with us, or what? I hope it's a due process of, of the law and a double right. jeopardy, bro. OK, come on. Don't risk Step on out here for me. And I have a right to dignity in the process of photosynthesis. OK, relax, relax, relax. And I, I'm not, I didn't lay a finger to hit that lady. You go ahead and start removing all your jewelry, all right? This stuff won't come off, man. Would you going to cut my damn hands off? How many earrings do you have? I don't know. I went and I put this, picked this stuff off the side of the road. You pick stuff off the and side I, I of the road. And I try to make jewelry out of it. And it, it's only, it's only a, 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 an ambition. It's only an, an, an ambitious pursuit. I'm trying to make a couple of thousand. We're going to step right over here where it says inmate shower, all right? We're going to yeah, go ahead and change yes, it out. Yes, 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 yes. This is all the stuff that was in his pockets. He had rocks in his pockets. 
No, I don't want that. He didn't want to throw the rocks, but he wanted no. to throw the chicken. Yeah, he wants to keep all these things. Okay, we'll put it in this property. So what, what was his deal? Like, why, do you know why he was selling chicken or what? Uh, he wanted to buy drugs. He was, he was trying to sell chicken to, to buy drugs. Get, yeah, they didn't want to buy it, so he decided to throw it on the curb in front of this business and inside their business. Wonderful. Where'd the, uh, the two by four come into play? It was in his shopping cart that he pushes around. Right. So he went and got it and swung it at the lady. And then Rackley said that she had a samurai sword, which she didn't have. All right, guys. We'll see you later. All right. Wonderful. I get to uh, inventory a bunch of rocks that uh, the gentleman thinks very valuable. So I'll be here for the next probably five to 10 minutes describing all these rocks. So walk me through what happened again, because I didn't hear all of it. I was trying to throw some, some meat I had gotten from the church. OK. And, and she came out there with a giant uh, sword, a long sword, bruh. A sword, you know right. what a samurai sword is? I know what you're talking is? about, yeah, like like old, ancient times sword. And she, she threatened me to cut my head off. I was scared at that moment. So you're lucky to be alive right now. I damn sure am. All right. Well, come on over here. Let's go sit down and let's just be thankful we're alive. Right, this is a copy of your property receipt, all right? And took my cigarette, my $34 nope. bag of cigarette, the lady did. No, they got it. They got it. Right. All right. All right, have a seat in the second or third row. All right, Joe, you'll be good, all right? You want to have a good story, huh? One Every time he comes in, he has a good story. <laughs> Sounds like an average day in Sarasota for him. <laughs> a lot of times when people come into jail, they are very upset with the officer. Sometimes they'll get physical. If they get physical, we have to throw them in isolation. We throw them in isolation, it stops the clock basically on them. A lot of times, due to their own behavior, can cause them to be in jail a lot longer than what they would be if they just went with the program. Take my hand. Hey, turn around and face the counter. Hey, this is gonna go to a real bet. This is gonna go to a real bet. I don't give a man. Get the f out of me. You haven't been searched yet. I don't care. Go over to this counter. You're gonna walk on your own accord, or it's gonna be a bad day for you. I don't give a Stand up. Get up on your knees. Stand up. You like my ass? Hope you like my ass. This did not have to go this direction. You understand that, right? I gave you the opportunity to conduct yourself like a gentleman. What is he brought in on today? What is he here for? He's carrying his car off of Mount Tabor. The whole mountain? Uh, just a little bit of it. Uh, right. It really wasn't that sure far. It was like just a little bit over the curb. He was proving to his friends that he had balls. Well, there's no friends here for you to have to show off with right now, so there's really nothing for you to prove right now. Like <laughs> Rodrigo, you were being so friendly. You. We're going to have to shirt off. Are you going to be combative with these handcuffs? Come on. I'm going to rest walk. Cut, cut the sweatshirt off. All right, get the scissors. Sleeves. Get the gun. And I can see with. <laughs> Didn't even have to go this direction with this, man. Turn your head the other way. You can suck my Don't it. Got it. Got it. Finger. I ain't there. Stand up. Walk like a grown-up. Got it. Got it. Hey, you're going to need to back up to the door and put your hands through the food board. Pull your hands through. So just so you and I are clear, as long as you're in this cell and we don't have your fingerprints and we don't have your mug shots, this is dead time. This doesn't go toward you going home. So until you modify your behavior, you, you stay there. This is not the place for you to try and beat your chest and, and, and have all that bravado going on. It's not designed for you to win that way. You win by acting like an adult. So you know, when he pulled away from you, I was like, OK, it's not just yeah, that he needs to go to the no. bathroom. Did he give you any problems? Um, no. I mean, he was getting a little lippy on the way down here. He was actually really cooperative at the scene. We kept him out of handcuffs for quite a while until the traffic officer came and you know, did HD on, on his eyes and decided to arrest him. And he's pretty cooperative. 
transporting to there, and he blew. He took a breath test. He blew on one nine. He said he was driving. He wasn't drinking. The legal limit's point oh eight. Yeah. That's he's crazy. He's over double the legal limit without drinking. The drive down here, he started to get a little lippy, and he was listening to my radio, the police radio, and he started responding to. There was some description of a Hispanic male in an unrelated call, so he's like, "Ah, oh, Hispanic male, Seven, that's what six, all you look for," and started getting eight. agitated. And once he got in here, I guess he. It's not, gonna, it's not going to be a good night for him. I can tell that already. <laughs> We're going to check on Rodrigo. He's in ISO number one. Became uh, disrespectful, somewhat combative with the sergeant and the other guys on swing shift. We're going to see if he's sobered up a little. Willing to go with the program and come on out. Hi. I'm Deputy Heener. So here's your charge. It's uh, driving under the influence. You also got a reckless driving with it, which generally they go hand in hand because you had to do something to get the police officer's attention. Remember your demeanor, how you were acting when you came in? When you came to jail? OK, well, I can kind of enlighten you on what happened. When you came in, you were You do know what happened? OK. What I'd like to do is bring you out, let you sit out with the other people, watch some TV. I need to know if you're willing to cooperate. Okay. All right, come on out. like for you to walk straight up to that counter right there on the end slip. They uh, come in drunk, sit in the cell, sober up, sleep it off, get really cold. It's amazing what three hours in one of those cold cells will do to somebody that is under the influence and unruly. He came out a whole nother man, completely different than what he did on swing shift. years ago, I was in construction, and I had a friend that worked here. They're transitioning from uh, the old Metro Jail to this new facility, and, and there was a, a big push on hiring. And so I made the jump and uh, got hired on and went through the academy, and it was a great experience, and I've loved it ever since. Jeez, Larry, what's going on, bud? I haven't seen you forever. Well, that's not good, Larry. You can't just be grumpy all the time. I know. You can't just be grumpy all the time. You have to love life sometimes. Lighten up, lighten up, lighten up. You know, how these damn handcuffs hurt so bad. Can you unloosen my hands? Come on, Officer Vice, please. And you're the only one that can loosen up. What did you bring Petrolina in for tonight? Uh, she was apprehended after she was caught shoplifting with uh, her little sister and her cousins, who she was using as lookouts. She gave a false date of birth. She presented herself as a minor. She was 19, so I confronted her about the issue when she took off out, outside of the, the doors. I apprehended her after that, so there was a shoplifting charge, false information to a police officer, contributing to the delinquency of the minor for her cousins, and then resisting arrest for trying to escape custody. Shake a booty. Hey. I need you to settle down, okay? E drugs, guns, knives, needles. No, ma'am, I gave him my knife. Okay. Woo. Oh, yeah. Strip you search. been drinking Woo. today? Oh, yeah, never. No. No, this is just me. I make every situation the best. Okay, you need to. Well, at least you today. don't make excuses no. for yourself. Woo, woo, shake your booty. Okay, I need you to settle Sorry. down. Listen Sorry. to me. Look. Sorry. Settle down. Yes, ma'am. We're going to do a professional search. Go for it. Okay, do you have anything hiding up the crotch or widen your stance? No, widen your stance. Nothing hiding up the crotch. <laughs> Never heard that one before. Well, have you been to jail before? Yeah. Huh. Did you steal this stuff? No, sir. No. I bought that stuff. All right. The stuff I stole stayed at the store. Ow! Oh, no. yeah, that feels so good to be free. Okay, keep facing the map. Five. Can't take that stuff. How much alcohol did you drink today? None. This is just None. how you always Rock. act? This is me. Grab your stuff. Let's relax, okay? Okay, right in here. The problem that we've got with uh, Petrolina right now is that she's not able to calm down enough to be able to be walked through the booking process in a manner that would cause a disturbance with other prisoners. We've got to see her demonstrate that behavior before we're going to let her out.
We're getting ready to do uh, nurse checks on Petrolina, see if she's sobered up a little bit and if she's if her behavior's changed enough to where we could actually bring her out. But it appears that she's still kind of dancing and still acting pretty. Uh, Can I let the nurse check your vitals? Of course. Okay, put your back against the frame. I don't want to die. You guys will get me the hell out of here. Gotta stop dancing around. Man, that's just me. God, I'm sorry if you hate your job, but I just love my life. Okay, I love my life. Okay, let me see that. Just a crazy-ass person, all right? You're never going to meet another Mia, right? You guys should be so happy that I'm here. Think, yeah, gorgeous, happy as hell. Life's just too crazy. Hey, you really need to stand still so the nurses can get See, look, that's the guy that's so mean to me, man. He just wants me to be sad. Oh, serious. <laughs> Are you always this way? I'm always this drunk? way. I'm not even drunk. Give me a breathalyzer, and that's what I want right now. A breathalyzer and a drug test. So I can tell you guys that I'm nowhere close to intoxicated. I got two kids. Can you finish it up? They keep me busy enough. What were you doing tonight? Shoplifting. That was not a good idea. Oh, I know that now. Yeah, you're too happy. You can't creep and... I've only been in, I in Utah for three days. Not All no right. drugs, not okay. no alcohol. Please, just let me out. Step back in there. Oh, I'll be fine. See. Go inside. No, I'm so okay. Hey, Petrolina, the thing is, is you've got to show us you can be calm. You're acting still, acting still, acting still. Just calm down. I can't calm down. When you guys put me in a room like this, you know what, what makes me crazy, 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 crazy. The problem just like is, that. Is, is, as long as you act like that, you're going to be in this room. Okay. If you keep back like this, you're gonna keep sitting in here. Fine. Let's find myself to sleep. Will that get me out of here? Okay. I'm in here by myself. Okay. Let, let me explain this to you. You demonstrate to us that you can act that way, then I have no problem pulling you out, okay? Her medical results, her vitals were a little bit too high, still associated with the alcohol that's wearing out of her system. As she sobers up, it's her choice, really, when she comes out. As long as she can demonstrate a level of cooperation, we'll get her out and we'll get her booked through and we won't have any more problems with her. Jail tonight. Uh, because I got caught with my homeboy tagging. No, Paint, no. Painting up something. AT Street. Okay. You know, but. You been here before? Yeah, before when I was drunk. You been drinking tonight? Hell yeah, bro. You, you know. know liquid courage so you can go out there tagging? Yeah, I'm stupid like that when I get drunk, you know? Yeah, do some crazy stuff. Like, so net that homie. All right. What's your first name? Levi. That's your real first name? Yeah, okay. Levi. Jacket right. on right here. My name's in the Bible. It is, really. You know, the Leviticus and <laughs> Levi. You go to church? Yeah. There. Pesta. Come on, the mother. Take your earrings off. Ciao. Shut the <laughs> Oh, I love being white Mexican, you know? Chicano. <laughs> Speak both languages. <laughs> like. Show. I got you, Levi. This is my homeboy right here. This is my homeboy cop. Even though my brother's a cop, it's like whatever, homie. Because, okay, you know, my brother's a cop, he's going to get me out of here like this. All right, Levi, go take your uh, Go take the shirt off right here. Take the shirt. street right here. Show. Adicioso. OK, yeah. go grab the counter. Walk your feet back towards me, the edge of the counter. Here you go. Spread your feet wide. All right. Spread your, spread your feet wide. They're very wide, folks. What's the fuck you, you go wider than that. Come on. Dude. The there you go. You want me to no, do no, 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 not that far. All right, there dude. you go, right there, hold that. <laughs> dude, dude, how Keep your hand on the counter. He's listen, listen to this guy. Dude, dude he's like a about. dumbass or something. Okay. okay. Not listen. stupid. Look at I got a tattoo right, right here, on the hey, counter. Hey, hey. Keep your hand on the counter. Listen. You guys act like you guys are like the government. Dude, dude. not no right leg up. Right, leg up. right leg up. Right leg up. Bend your knee. You guys act like it's some CSI. Lift your leg up. Done. He's all done. Let's all go. right, then. I told Come you guys. On. Right behind you. You guys act like you guys are hardcore or something. Don't no, I just don't want to look at your mouth anymore. Well, stop being so suspicious, bro. I'm not going to you guys. Door. See you in a few hours. All right, then. All right.
And uh, throwing gang signs. Hey, officer. Yes. What brought you in contact with this uh, guy tonight? Uh, he was spraying, spraying 18th Street graffiti all over North Portland. Nice. Yeah, that's what he told me also. Yeah. Nice. A little bit, a little, little liquid courage? I, I believe so. He said just a little bit. He's turning 21 at the end of the month, so oh, okay. it's OK. Celebrating early. Yeah. As soon as you sober up, we'll get you through the process, all right? No, I'm sober, dude. Okay, you're pretty pretty intoxicated. No, I'm not. I swear. I swear okay. I'm not sober. Okay. I'm like, I'm, I'm good. All right, well, later on, we'll try to get you through the process, okay? Uh, the process, uh, can I just go, like, over there and make a phone Not right now. Right now, you got to sit in this room until I, know, but I rather prefer just to chill out over there because this is a small room and I got anxiety and really bad and Well, you're really kind of, you kind of a wild man up here in the front, so we got to make sure you're going to calm down before we take you out. I'm chill out, dude. Okay. I swear. I we'll keep not. checking on you. When we feel like we're comfortable with letting you out of that cell, we'll take you out of the cell. I know. I'm starting to cry. Got some anxiety problems. He was uh, grandstanding up here, showing all his gang signs, and then now he's in a cell crying. Yeah. But it's complete reversal. Yeah, no. The way he was, so. I have to try to get him out here pretty soon and see if he'll cooperate. Put your stuff again. Okay. We wouldn't have put you in there in the first place, man. You just can't. No, bro. You can't I act that way. Have in the bad anxiety. Okay. What's that? I have yeah. bad anxiety, bro. I can't. I can tell. I'm so sorry, bro. For being. It's good reason to stay out of jail, because if you stay in jail, that's they put you in as a little room. Like I'm this. so sorry. Dude. I'm so sorry. Okay, just have a seat right there till okay. I'm ready for you. All right. I'm sorry. All right. He was trying to be really macho and act tough. Then after about 15 minutes, he kind of changed his tune and he started kind of begging us to take him out. So I, I, I kind of felt sorry for him and he assured me that he wouldn't cause us any more problems. He came in for some graffiti charges, so I think bail is like 2,500. He's going to get recaught. He's going to get out probably in a couple hours. I've been on the department 14 years now. I've been a sergeant almost eight years. Been down here in booking, and pretty much any given night, you can go from a nice calm night with no major problems, and then at any minute, it can explode, start getting tons of arrestees coming in. Don't want anything to get out of control. The main thing is to keep anybody from getting hurt, whether it's ourselves or inmates. Oh, no, 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 excuse me, okay. You got a camera on my face, okay. Thank you all. Oh, you know what, I want to be an actor. I swear to God, I love you. I swear to God, I did nothing wrong. Listen. Do you have any allergies to medication? Excuse me, sir. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the camera. Excuse me. Yes? You. Listen. All right. Do you want to know something? I, I am a perfectly normal citizen of the United States of America. I pay my taxes. I do everything good. You realize you were a cop, and then you realize that your whole life is fake. Excuse me, officer. What, what did I do wrong? Well. One, you're yelling. It's very rude. Oh, yelling? You, you go to jail for yelling? No, but when you're inside the jail, you don't yell or you end yeah, up in the no. chair. Excuse me, sir. Have a cop tell you what I did wrong, please. Okay, okay. What did I do wrong? So uh, what happened tonight with this guy in the Code 5 chair? Uh, basically, security from uh, the casino over at uh, the Hilton Hotel calls in saying he's passed out drunk, sitting up against the sidewalk, uh, got some car keys in his hand. So we show up with medical, and he's pretty drunk, so ask for his car keys. He doesn't want to give them to me. So put him in handcuffs again, just drops all his body weight on me and falls down to the ground. That's what you being charged with? Just right now obstructing and resisting. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I swear to God, I did nothing wrong at all. All right, no. Ryan, I talked to the officer that arrested you and found out what you're here for. Yeah. You're, here, you're here for obstructing and resisting, two misdemeanors. Uh, okay. Uh, obstructing what? Obstructing justice. How? Interfering with the officer when he was trying to speak with you. Oh, he was, was going on me. that you were trying to find your vehicle like and you're intoxicated. Man -to -man conversation. Pretty much he prevented a DUI. Hey, how are you doing, sir? Good, are Excuse you? Excuse me, you don't answer me in time. Obstructing justice. Look at me. I'm in straps. I'm strapped down to a chair. That's and right, I, because of the way you're acting. How am I acting? Look at you. You're yelling. You're all animated. Look at you. Up. Look at you. 
Look You're acting like a civilized human being. Now, oh, God forbid that happens. Yeah, you should be arrested. Who, who was I obstructing? The officer that arrested you. Uh, uh, when you sober you... up, I'll no, come no. back and talk to you some I, more. Listen, listen, mother... Listen. While you're in that chair and acting the way you are, you're going to stay in the chair. Okay, 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 fine. I, I walked down the street and, yes, I got arrested. For obstructing and resisting. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I got arrested because of, yes. I said, excuse me, officer, what did you wrong? He says, you're being a he said your mother while he was sitting downstairs and we were trying to let him sober up and calm down uh he went out in the open booking area and uh, immediately started trying to spit he's continued to rile himself up and make threats that if we take him out of the chair and take the cuffs off us that he's gonna make us pay he's gonna hurt us ryan what's up what did you wrong T tell me what i'm in here for you're in here for resisting and obstructing you uh, resisting what well, they arrested you for resisting and obstructing. They brought you to jail. And then once you're here, is, we deal with you is, is during your incarceration. Legal? Is legal? Yes, it is. Okay. That's the only thing I'm accused of doing wrong. I, dr I drink alcohol. I had some alcohol, right? Mm-hmm. And then I went about my way. But according to you, it wasn't to the rules. Not one of you, you or any one of those officers can say any word against me. Obviously, you're still pretty intoxicated. You were put in the chair for your own safety. So I'm going to go ahead and let you calm down a little bit more, sober up a little bit more, and we'll have the nurse come talk to you later. Excuse me, officer. Excuse me, officer. Thought he was starting to sober up. Excuse me, officer. 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 Excuse all suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. where we uh, temporarily house our inmates until they're uh, assigned housing upstairs and or released. So where they're uh, given the opportunity to make their phone calls and bail out. So they'll spend usually about 24 hours down here. So this is a family jail. We don't curse. Can yeah, you stop well, cursing? Have a seat right here. Have a seat. Um, hold on. Don't push me. I'm not pushing you. Yeah, you are. You're pulling me down. What the hell are you pulling me down for? Come on, sir. You're yeah. Take him? Yes, sir. Come so on, don't sir. Yeah, I did what? What did I do? I don't know. You just walked yeah, in the door. Yeah, you're exactly it. Violence. I ain't done a goddamn gotta, thing. Oh, All they got to do is set my no. wife. Hit me in the back. Sir, why and you don't put us? me in here. Why are you yelling at us? Why are you putting me in here? Sir, have what a seat. The... Guess what? Sir. My open wife open called you in to sir. me. Because I beat her up. Keep your hands She's out, not here. Sir. You're a Cowboys fan. Yes, I am. Cool. Been one all my life. Well, so now you got to tie me up yes, sir. because of my prosthetic leg? No. no, sir, because everybody out there is uh, what you call tied up. What did I do? Turn around, sir. Did I say anything to anybody? Did I say anything to anybody? Did I create anybody's negativity? No, I didn't. They're locking me up for something my wife said to them. I'm a man. It shouldn't be in here. Have you been drinking tonight, sir? I'm fine. All right, come on this way. What's that? Which way is that? Way. Uh, why are we going this way? Because this is the way we go, sir. Line order begins in this room. Good. Guess what? Hey, how y'all doing? They got you on. Do. They got me on because uh, song battery my wife oh, took me in. Y'all got something better than that? We're gonna get your blood pressure real quick, okay? Yeah, I'm sure mine's high because I'm pretty pissed off right now. Does that mean I'm on drugs? I didn't cause no crime. No. I have nothing. He's good. I don't even have problems of hurting myself. Never had one till y'all came along. Yeah, you smiling mother. I say Maurice has got a uh, prosthetic leg. He's drunk and he's belligerent, no, so I'm going to I'm gonna isolate him. Why are you hurting me? All right, so Why Maurice, are you relax. hurting me? No, I don't need to relax. 
Give me my right! I've been arrested for nothing. Let's start walking, guys. Junior's getting the camera. I can't leave him out here with everybody else. He's causing too much of a scene. I did nothing. What's the story with Maurice? Uh, basically, we got called up there for a domestic violence call. Uh, we showed up. Supposedly, he had battered his, his wife while we were there. We spoke to the wife, uh, and the daughter also witnessed the battery. As you saw, he's completely uh, intoxicated. Right. I think as we were driving to jail little by little, he uh, got more and more angry, and then got inside, and he wasn't cooperating at all. Did he tell you what happened to his leg? Uh, I guess he was in the Gulf War, uh, the, the first one, and I think he was an army guy, and that's when he, he lost it during the, the first war, so that's all he kind of told me about it. But. That's too bad. I say, I'll let him sober up a little. He's probably a different person. He was, completely, he was completely fine with us initially. That's pretty much it. Well, thank you. Cool. You bet. All right, Sarge. How's this guy been? Has he been cool? He's just laying there. Maurice. Yeah? Are you OK? Yeah. Can you get up? Got you, brother. Really? Ow, 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 ow. You OK? Yeah. How you feeling, man? You all right? It's all worth it. Yeah, we'll take his chance No, off. all I need to do is get home. I don't, I don't even care. All right. You been here before, Maurice? No, I haven't. Today, you're here for battery domestic violence. I never got in a fight with nobody. I don't do my domestic. I'm sorry. I gave my time my, and, 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 and for my country, and then I turn around and get turned on because some uh, kid says something, and then she said it to her mom, and then it goes to her mom, and it goes to me, and I'm like, what the f The longest time the police want to pull some <laughs> on me. That's why I'm here today, for my ticket that was an uh, illegal U-turn in 07, 06, Lionel on my ear for a ticket that maybe cost $25 to get a warrant after me, put me in jail. But they got to make a deal out of it. But my girlfriend is kind of psycho. Um, you do have a city warrant. That warrant must have been out of, was it City or Henderson or North Las Vegas? Well, whatever. Well, so what do we got to do? You've got a $3,000 bail. I'm not bailing out. OK, then, so you'll, you'll be here for about a day and a half. That warrant will be taken care of now while you're here, so you won't have to worry about that popping up ever again. Okay. All right? I don't want no more bull I want it all done. Yeah, we'll get it all taken care of right now. I want it all taken care of. Is there anything else I can do for you? No. All right, man. Thank you very much, well, sir. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Man. All right, Maurice. Thank you. Got a city warrant too. Yeah, he's got a city warrant. Bad DV, and he's got a warrant in the city he's going to take care of once he gets out of here. Yeah, at least he'll get it all over with. Yeah. He did talk about his uh, involvement in the war and how he acquired his leg injuries. I respect and appreciate what he's done. So um, the least I can do is help him through this process the best I can. into booking, I don't care what happened with them out in the streets. We start off fresh, and their behavior dictates how their processing is going to go. Hopefully, we can get through quickly, get them back out so they can get on with their lives. Thank you, sir. Here, sit down. Hi. Hiding more stuff? Oh, so. look, you and I got along very well. I know. I just want to know if you were hiding more stuff. No. OK. You really have to take my hair? I'll pull it up really nice. Oh, well, so it's not no, snarly. No, it's cut. all brushed and curly. I don't want to mess that up. OK. Well, it's going to stay up like that. All right, stand up for me, please. Put your hands behind your head. You know what she remembers about me from when I was in here before? About my personality. You're just a charmer. Oh. Did you find anything on her? Found a credit card in one name and prescription pills in another name. On her person? Mm -hmm. That's my, what is that? Shh, don't Ooh, grab but. things out of his okay. hands. No, I was stuff? just looking. Your business is spread. our business now. But look, well, look. I don't give this to the detectives. Okay. They are just trying to get me on anything. And you know, did you know that I was in the in the care, uh, a little boy was in, the, in my care? I was in a house fire. In 2000? No, yesterday. 
and the mother, she um, went to the hospital and I was caring for the boy. She said that it was okay for me to do it. Why do you think you're here? Well, um, because of, the, well, they're trying to get me on obstruction because when they asked me my name, I gave them not the right name. And um, maybe I need to leave Vegas because the men out here are a little bit difficult. And I love to cook. I cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You're and a winner. I know they're going to try to throw the book at me. But you know what? What they don't know is that the district attorney um, is paying me to help them with the case. They don't know that? I told them, but they don't care. Let's go out here. OK, I can't. Third row. Here now. And you know what? Janine, 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 look at me. Don't cook for any of these guys in here, OK? All right. And none of the women, either. OK, come see her. She's really nice. Be nice to her back. Just to oh, she's funny to me, but the thing is that she's not giving her real name. I'm trying to figure out who she is, so I just start going along with the story and telling her that I remember last time she was here, and all of a sudden she's just telling me everything. I don't even know what to call her right now. It's going to end up being Jane Doe. She's just like a pathological liar. Basically, we got called to go check on little Barack. Barack's about two or three years old. His apartment burned down. His mom, after the fire, went to a, I guess, hospital and a mental institution. Once she kind of snapped out of it, she ended up saying, where's my kid? So they, they started up like a missing child investigation. Finally, Jane Doe showed back up at the casino with the little kid. The little kid was all dressed up in new clothes, and she had new clothes on because they lost everything in the fire. She had no ID, but she had this big purse. We didn't have her on a crime yet that we knew of. We weren't sure if she took the kid or not. She had tons of credit card numbers, aliases, and she has warrants all over the country that are probably non-extraditable. So after everything, what was she finally charged with? False information to a police officer and obstructing our investigation of the missing kid. OK. All right, great. Janine, Michelle, come on. Whoever you are, come over here. You know I'm talking to you. Again already? Again already. Don't be a drama queen. Come on. I'm not a drama queen. I don't like to be already. See that camera right above there, right by the light? That's where you got to look, get your mug shot. Again? I know it gets confusing when you have so many names. When's your birthday? What did my fingerprints come up with? OK, OK. Is it? Start with June. You don't even know, because you have so many names and so many birthdays, and you're stealing everybody's identity. I am not. They are mine. June. 18. 60. Oh, that was a good guess. <laughs> I got one right. Go ahead and see on that red chair back there. I'm trying to ask her for her birthday, and she doesn't even know what date to give me, so she's just a mess. I'm actually kind of getting frustrated with her. OK, sign right here. That's when you came in with zero money. Right here? Yes, please. Do you even know what name you're signing right now? Why are you hesitating? Uh, what name do you want me to sign? Only your own, your real name. Go ahead. Sign. What do you have on there? Oh, my gosh. I am so exhausted with you. Holy moly. This is what terrible. Is what is it? $20,000. And, and it's a felony. But you knew that. For a felony? It for what? They just made it up. Let's go. Come on. And the social security number they have is wrong, too. All right. So mm -hmm. unlawful use of ID. Uh, Felony? Really? You're so surprised. I am. No more games. I'm too tired. Good. So am I. Go sit uh, down. Nice working with you tonight. Good night. See you when you come back again. Yay. Her whole process was pretty lengthy, but they had detectives here trying to figure out who she was. And I think they came back to like 10 or 12 aliases. She's one of the more uh, fun ones to work with. People are gonna come in, nobody wants to be here. They've been drinking, they've been fighting, they've been taking drugs. You have to have a lot of patience with them. So if you come in cursing at us, want to fight, we are gonna probably remove you, put you in a side cell, and you'll be processed, you know, hours later when you can calm down. I'm not guilty. I am guilty. I am guilty. I am guilty. I'm absconding. The state of Florida, I went to. I went to Colorado. I was smoking weed and everything. The police stopped me and everything. I was going 95. I was going 95. Jose, focus.
focus, what? focus. No, I were you focused. in a fight tonight? Cause no, I see... I'm not going to fight. The no, bad are you... police department being nice to me. Were you already in one? Because I see no, like some no, scrapes no, on your face. No, no, no. no. Why, are, no. why are you here? No, just getting away from my boyfriend. Yeah. Were you at home? Yeah. I smacked him. So maybe domestic violence? No, it's not domestic violence. Well, if you smacked your boyfriend. I smacked his pussy ass. Don't call him names. You don't got to pitch me. Like, I know, stabbed him. Mother... That's when... I was the top queen on the compound. Yeah. In Florida Department of Corrections, maximum security compound, where they have rapists and everything. What I got to do with those kind of guys? I did three years in, three years out. I pulled the vehicle over, and the police. I told them I was absconded from the state of Florida. I called my probation officer. <laughs> so Florida's looking for you because you yeah. you haven't and been checking in. I called okay. him. I said I told my probation officer. I'm having the best time of my life. You know what? The little guy with the blue eyes stabbed that mother ten times. Oh, you're making and that they up. And come back to me. No, I'm not making that up. Okay. I was the top queen on the compound. All right. I don't know how they pulled me over. Did you run I'm a sorry. light? You run a red light or? I think I did. I'm gonna go ask my sergeant how long we're gonna keep you there, okay? And I'll come back and talk to you, okay? Deal? You playing games? No, I'm not playing. I don't play games. It's one one way. Just the way. Not playing. I'm not playing games. You're playing a talking game. Oh no, I'm not. I'll talk me. No. All right, Jose. I will be back. Okay, I promise. Okay. Thank you. So, Sergeant Story, I was just talking to Jose, the the guy that's mm -hmm. in the chair, and I think I got him a little calmed down. He gets real calm, and then he kind of spikes back up. But I think if we give him time for the alcohol to keep wearing off, he's gonna probably become compliant with us. Yeah, we'll keep okay. on evaluating him. And okay. We'll decide. All right, thank you. Okay, all right, we're gonna get you out. That's me. I know you're ready. I gotta pay the penalty. All right, go stand up. up. Let's walk him over and do a picture. Can I have you stand in that box? Let me get a picture of you. Hold on. All right, look up at the light for me. Oh, come on, make it a good picture. Well, not not that good. OK, OK. Just, OK. Oh, well, that'll work. I don't want you to lose this paper. Oh, this man. is your charge sheet. It's got I'll all your first. Back. No, no, no. This is for you. Oh, Take it. You know, you should be Take scared it. of me. It says aggravated. What it says? I'm not afraid of you, Jose. Look at what it says, Joyner. Fugitive, another state, with warrant, aggravated battery with deadly weapon. I see some prosecute. better choices in your future. They want future. to prosecute me. All right, let's go. Here, for that. let me escort you in here and show yes, you what you got to do. Yes, ma'am. We're going to take you over and get you fingerprinted, OK? Yes, ma'am. Don't get emotional. Be strong. I'm strong. My mom's going to be sad. We're going to start your left thumb. Were you supposed to be checking in with your parole officer? I called him. I gave him a call. Was one of the stipulations not to leave the state of Florida? Uh, one of the stipulations not to leave the state of Florida. That's correct. I told him. I said, um, You're on my yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I called him. I said, you know what? I'm not going to waste your time. I said, I'm going to have the best time of my life. And he goes, oh, you want to go back to prison? I said, you know what? You got to do what you got to do. All right, Jose. All right, have a seat. Good luck to you, Jose. Thank you, Mr. Talk Shorter. to you again soon. Yeah, have a great day. All right. Thank you. Remember, be quiet. Yes, ma'am. Hopefully, he'll quiet down. He does so. seem pretty quiet right now. Yeah. So. I think the alcohol might be starting to wear off, so that'll help, Good. too. So. OK. Yeah. Thank All you. All right. you here tonight? Tonight I'm here for warrants for no driver's license, no insurance. And uh, the problem with that being is I was, you know, helping a kid out. They were turned dirty and hungry, so forth. Gave the guy eight bucks. My AO uh, arresting officer walked in, walked out with a soda in his hand, you know. Have a sheet, have a seat, Shane. Busted the, uh, busted the kids for ID. And I was like, oh, you know, well, that's kind of screwed up. You know, not minding my own business, lighting a cigarette and whatnot. And then uh, somebody on the, responding to the call for the kids shows up and runs my tags. And it just so happens that I haven't had, you know, uh, my driver's license or insurance. I have multiple vehicles. I travel a lot, so I didn't necessarily, I wasn't necessarily responsible, if you will. Uh, long story short, uh, they ran my tags. 
knocked on the door, told me to get out of the car, cuffed me, stuffed me, no Miranda rights or anything like that. But, well, you're uh, in for warrants. Oh, yeah, I know. So it's a done yeah, deal. Technically, I'm, yeah, but I still have rights. So you can still ride a motorcycle? I still ride a motorcycle, yes. That's the, uh, your clutch hand. That is my clutch hand, yes. How do you work the clutch? With my foot. I'm running a foot clutch and a jockey okay. shift on an 80 inch Evo on a hardtail with 40 shot of nitrous. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> in other words, oh, you guys wouldn't be seeing me this evening if I wasn't in my pickup truck. Understood. Leg two up to the knee? Yeah, I'm below the knee, um, 10 inches. I've had the urtal procedure. This is the College Park Sully's foot. It's eight way articulate. If you'll permit me to stand. Oh, absolutely. Let's see what you got. Have you ever seen a man hop on no feet? No, you haven't. Now you have. Man just hopped on no feet. There ain't no foot there. It's all mechanical. Shazam. I'm, actually, I'm impressed. I'm okay. Actually... Well, thanks. I can also run five miles faster than you, and I'm a 0.25 minute angle shooter. Let's not do that in here. No, no, uh, no. But I'll see you at the Boulder Pro Gun Club. Well, <laughs> like I say, if you're just hearing those warrants, yeah. You should be getting an OR, and I'm going to check okay. up on that. All right, thank um, you so much. Like I say, because the faster I can get you out of here, I don't want this walking around. Yeah. And, yeah, I don't. I mean, and I don't want to be in general population either, because they smell bad. <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, what happened? Unfortunately, sir, I broke 119 bones and was burned over 90% of my body due to a woman talking on a cell phone and driving. I was uh, in a fatal MVA uh, motor vehicle accident at the intersection of Grand Canyon, eastbound and on Sahara. And uh, while I was proceeding on the, the number one lane, the woman talking and driving made a left in front of me. My bike impacted her at 42 miles an hour. The bike separated from the frame as well as the gas tank. It broke into 614 pieces to be precise. And uh, my gas tank exploded, incinerating the occupant of the vehicle as well as burning myself. Uh, my, fortunately, my, my loving wife was ejected from the wreck. I locked my elbows and got real stiff so she would be thrown over. She sprained her ankle and then nursed me to hell. Awesome. And I wish I wasn't in lockup Las Vegas because I tell her, I love you, honey. Well, you know. you, you'll be able to tell her soon. Let's say if it's just traffic warrants, you won't be here yeah. that long, so. Well, but the, the thing is, is like me being a generally gregarious and jovial cat, I, I usually find myself uh, getting unusually well treated. We have a program here where you can also bail out here, but if, well, you won't even get booked in. Okay. If you're eligible for it, I'm going to talk to Precar right now. All right, if thanks you're eligible so much. for that, you'll be out within the hour. Oh, well. I'll come back talk to you in a minute. Thanks a lot, Sarge. Thank you. Shane was very cooperative. It's a security risk to leave him in general population with that uh, metal hook on his hand. So I'm going to have him talk to pretrial and see if uh, he's eligible for an OR. And if so, I'm going to expedite that just for uh, his safety and the safety of staff and other inmates. How'd you end up in your underwear? I was dancing, man. Dancing? Yeah. I was dancing at my house with my shirt off and my hat on. All right. Then I was like, OK, I'm going to take a walk, listen to some tunes, All right. and basically Dance out of your clothes. Yeah, Same dance page. out of my clothes. Yes, I did. I was listening to Lady Gaga, actually. We're going to let you borrow some of our clothes. OK. Have a, have a seat, sir. I'm all right with that. Um, I can't wear my hat? No, I'm going to give you clothes, though. OK, Very that's good. fine. I'm OK with that. Okay. And you just caught the right song and decided to. Caught the right to... song. It just got in my got in my groove, man. That was simple. That's it. As simple as that. I got you. Okay. Um, not only was it something I needed to do, it's something I'd do any at any time, any day, to make it happen again. It's All right. Gonna be Sit down so we can get you rolling. How'd you end up here? I was in, I was I was getting in front of traffic, in front of cars, mm -hmm. dancing a little bit. I was flipping a few people off. Oh. I needed to to break loose for a little bit. I needed to release myself from this reality that I'm in. Okay. Oh, no problems, no trouble. Okay. That's what I told them. Right. That's that's what I'm all about. I'm about people having a good experience, but at the same time, time runs out. You know. And now you're here. Yeah. And you got my clothes on. I, I love it. I love to dance. Nothing wrong with that. All right, do me a favor. Stand up, face that way. Yes, Hands sir. across your chest so I can get you rolling, OK? I got no Lady Gaga with me, but do you have any moves left over you can knock out? What's that? Do you have any moves? Something simple? Oh, you're on it, man. Yeah. Just grooving, man. Just grooving? Just grooving. You're okay. going to go out here, Stuart. Go have a seat right there. Don't be dancing around. Wait for medical to call you up, all right? Listen for your name, Stuart. All right, man. How you doing? You good on your model, can you tell me how he ended up here in his underwear and hat? Uh, earlier today, he was standing in his underwear at Sahara and Lindell. They legal 2,000 him. 
He went to UMC, which they released him. He then walked over to the CVS, was creating a disturbance there, so we arrested him for the prior charge of pedestrian in the roadway. Man, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be effective, man. Get up. Okay. All right. I'm up. Come here. Come against the wall. Look. Okay. Why are you spitting? Do you spit at your house, Stuart? Yes, I do. You do? You just spit on your walls? No, I spit in the toilet. I'll be reasonable. Come on, Stuart. Walk. Always, always, man. We don't appreciate you spitting on the walls, okay, Stuart. I won't spit anymore, but you need to be reasonable with me. You're not talking to me. OK, what are we doing now? Stuart, you're going to sit back in this chair. Make sit it back. Good this time. Sit back. Ah. Keep your feet flat ah. on the ground, Stuart. Ah. Keep your feet on the ground. Mm. You got that ah. foot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Clear. All right. Simple as that. See that? That's the truth about it. Stuart, you're putting this on so you don't spit. Okay. Keep this mask on. It's going to stay on, OK? Well, it's not like I can remove it. We don't know what you got. I don't have anything, man. Originally, he came. He was in his underwear. He was dancing around. He seemed like he was a little bit out of it on something. He's decided to spit on the wall. They put him in a chair. He's been in there for two hours. Hopefully, he can handle out here. Otherwise, he's going back in a chair. All right. Well, we'll I'm just see how he reacts. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, what's up? What's going on, friend? OK, I, I've i always had nerves. OK, I like to pace. OK, it's not that I'm trying to get away from you or anything. I, I need to pace. I need so I can focus, so I can keep my cool. The rules are, whenever you need to get up, raise your hand. OK, either you sit down, get up to use the restroom, and then come back. All right? That's not working for me. It's not going to work? No, it isn't. OK, then we can put you in a side cell where you can sit down and stand up all you want. That sounds like a perfect idea. Good. Let's do that right now. You want to do that right now? Yes, I want to do that right now. He wants to do his own rules. Let me favor to stand right there face off. Was there a place for him? Yeah, TR9. TR9? All right, thank you. So apparently, you're not going to make it out here, OK? She can't follow directions like everybody else. I like to sell, man. I need to sell. Yeah, you're going to make your stay here longer. That's fine. I can stay here for two years. I don't get it. Sights up? Yeah. Uh, I think we'll put them four and four. Yeah. You can go all the way in, OK? All the way to that wall. Yeah, I can do that. All right, I appreciate your help, guys. We'll talk to you in a little bit, Stuart. I explained the rules to him again, and he told me that he'd rather be in a cell. Simple as that. Good enough. We'll give him a chance. We'll stick him in there for a little cooling off here and check on him in a bit. All right, sounds good. How you feeling, Stuart? I feel good, man. A lot better? Yeah, I feel really good. All right. This one's dinner, man. It's coming. It's breakfast. Oh, breakfast. It's on its way, all right? OK. All right, Stuart. Love you, man. You be good. I will. All right, buddy. Every once in a while, we'll get someone like Stuart that comes in, doing something silly, ended up here. We'll get him through the process as long as he acts right. <laughs> I don't mean no disrespect to you, homie. I don't mean no disrespect to him. All right. All right. I do nothing wrong. Come what this way, around. Huh? We got to do the whole blood draw everything. I'm not a bad person. Don't pull away from me. You're not. I know I've been all over Friends. the limit. Is he OK? Hey, listen, pay attention. I want to go home. I got seven kids, homie. I love my kids, man. I take care of them, man. Just because I've been drinking a little bit tonight because I've been working. So what? Who who who, who want to want a beer? I'm gonna get off of work. I got kids, man. I just want to get my bail bonds and I'm gonna go home. It won't be too long. Face that way. Come with me. We're gonna go ahead and get your blood draw done. We'll get your process moving. All right. Sit down, bud. Hey, sir. Yeah, I do anything wrong. We already talked about this, man. You drink alcohol and then you got behind the wheel of a car. So that's driving with DUI. Twelve yeah. hours. Yeah, that's that's doing something wrong, man. How many DUIs have you had? Maybe my second one. Is your second? It's been, it's been a long time. It's the second, plus you got a driving with a suspended license? Yeah. Is that a warrant? No. No? I didn't do nothing wrong, though. You were leaving a parking lot, and you almost struck a vehicle on the side of the road. So what does that mean? 
So that means we stopped you. Well, I heard of what you so I didn't know you almost struck a vehicle and you were leaving the area that we where we had a call, and so we stopped you. And then when we did, I could smell alcohol coming from you. Okay, well, I understand that. Well, I know we got hurt. We're still under arrest for DUI alcohol and suspended registration. Okay, suspended registration? Yes. All right, let's go. Stand up. Let's get you back out there so we can get moving along. Right. Have a seat right there. Any special occasion that you went out and had some fun? Because I felt good about working for my kids today. I worked today. How much do you think you had to drink tonight? Three, four, talk Three four. Four talk on. Just alcohol? Four talk hands. I'm not lying to you. So you know those talk hands are like double, right? Talk hands are, are like blackberry, two of them. They came out with new. So if you had three or four of those, you probably had about eight. I had three or four of those. I wanted to go home. You probably had about sleep. eight to nine regular beers. <laughs> I wanted to go home and go to sleep. Man. You're going to be here 12 hours. Oh, well, look, sir. I do nothing wrong. Uh -huh. You just had too many drinks. Even you were going to agree to that. OK, I understand. You are. You're slurring your speech a little bit. But I had nothing to do wrong. I do nothing wrong. So what? Driving I'm going to drink it. A little bit. So what? Sounds I'll come good. back to court and I'll pay whatever I got to pay. If it's a DUI misdemeanor? Yes. Yeah, you'll be here 12 hours. I got eight kids, sir. Yeah, that's I'm a lot of kids. Of I, I agree. You got to be home to take care of those kids. I got some money today to buy some pizza for them. Hey, I bring out the store. I buy some beer. So what? I want to drink. I wanted to go home and drink and buy some beer. You can always have pizza delivered. Hey? You don't need to drive drunk to go get pizza. I understand that, but yeah, I've been drinking a little bit. Uh-huh. I could have hurt somebody yep. if I was drinking. But I, I didn't hurt nobody, though. I just want to go home with my kids. When you get through this process, yes. Can you see that I want to go home? Everybody wants to go home. Everybody wants well, to go home. Why are you making it so difficult on me? I'm actually trying to get you through the process quicker. How are you doing that? Do you hear what I Well, see right off, you're, you're not starving good, man. You're not listening. You gotta show the respect to get the respect. That's where we're at. This is me though, but I didn't do nothing wrong. I didn't hit nobody, I didn't hurt nobody. You drank alcohol, you got behind the wheel of the car and you drove, you did do something wrong. Okay, so that's 12 hour hold. Yeah. What do I do wrong? I just want you to sit there and just relax. Hey. Ah, this guy is so drunk, he can't even understand what we're trying to tell him about the process. Yeah, we were dispatched to a call. It was a battery with deadly, with other deadly weapon. There's apparently guys were armed with baseball bats fighting each other in a parking lot. Jeez. So as I pulled up, the uh, I saw his pickup back up and turn around a corner, almost hit a 360 right into a semi truck, and then it just took off. It turned right down the street, and then we had to do the felony car stop. He said he was going to drink in his house, and then he wanted to go get a pizza for his kids. And for some reason, that involves some craziness at the Mini Mart. He was ultimately charged for DUI alcohol, second offense, and then his registration on his vehicle was suspended as well. Well, I'm glad you guys got him before he possibly hurt somebody. Um, I am sober. Come on in here. Let's go. <laughs> Stay in the red box. Look right up here. And he's been here 17 times, friends. Hey, you won't see me again, man. All right, welcome me. I'll tell you what's going on. Let's go. You're graduating. You're going from that room into this room, all right? This is where you're going to be able to use the phone. Sit in the first two rows, left-hand side. Total bell, 7,000, man, all right? Don't talk to the girls. If you don't follow the rules, your whole process will stop. He's still drunk, and he's not comprehending anything. Left-hand side, he'll probably have to go into a uh, holding cell just where he can sober up, sleep it off a little bit. Oh, my bad. I, well, I apologize. Are these annex? Did you find more of them? Yeah. Right pocket thing. All right. Where did you have that medication with you? Uh, to be honest, I just got them from a friend. You got them from a friend? Yeah. Did you have to pay for them? No. No, no? of course not. No. How did you come in contact with the trooper there? Um, I was just walking, and uh, he turned his lights on me, and that's how he got me. That's how you Pretty got much, you? yeah. Where you where were you coming from? 
Uh, I was going, I was coming from a friend's house. Where? Take a seat, Karen, in the chair. Take a seat. I'm not gonna lie, I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be super honest with you. Okay. I don't know how I well, came across, you. I don't know how I came across all those Zannies. Oh, you don't? No, I, I really don't. you said your friend gave them to you. No, I, I promise. Are those your pants? My pants? My yeah. jeans? Yeah, of course. Well, so how would they get into your pants pocket there? That's what I'm saying. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of drunk right now. Kind of drunk? So, yeah, so I don't know how they came across my um, pants. You know it's against the law to be possessing those. Oh, yeah, I know that. I just thought I had one or two, I promise you, sir. But the officer that got me, he started pulling out like bunches of zannies. Um, he said I had like 35. That's quite a bit. I, yeah, that sounds like a lot. So why are your pants unbuttoned there? It's not. Oh, because um, um, when I when I was getting um pulled over, um, I, I didn't have a chance to put on my pants. Well, stand up, face that direction there. We're gonna place a belly chain on you. Oh my God! Have you ever been to jail before? Um, yes, I have, sir. I'm not gonna lie. Here? No, not here. I I don't even know where we're at right here. We're at the Clark County Detention Center downtown. Uh, are we? Yeah, downtown Las Vegas. Oh, no, no, I've never been here. OK, let's go see the medical staff. Yeah, no problem. Chair to you. Any alcohol or doing any drugs? Um, yeah. I... Did you drink today? Yes, I did. About how much did you have to drink? Um, I would say, like, around 2, um, 2 11s. 2 11s? Do you do any drugs? 2 11s. OK. Do you do any drugs? No, sir. Blue Xanax? No, I promise. I swear to God, I don't do Xanax. That's not my thing. What time did you start drinking last night? Oh, I pretty started drinking like around, um, I would say like 9.30. 9.30 last night? Yeah, that's 9.30 of last night. What, what's the day? Oh, I don't have my, I don't have my watch. Yeah, about 11 hours later. You only had two drinks? Yeah, just some two tall cans. Just sit down in the first row there. Uh, no problem, sir. Trooper, how did you come in contact with Andrews? Well, I got a call for a pedestrian on the highway that appeared to be intoxicated. So I located him walking down the shoulder, stumbling very bad. It looked like he was heavily intoxicated. But for my safety, I wanted to pat him down, make sure he didn't have any weapons on him, and felt something odd in his pocket. That's how I ended up finding the pills. I asked him if I could see what was in the pocket and remove what was in there, and he, he consented to let me go into his pocket and remove it. And that's when I found the 34 Xanax in his left front pocket. OK. Andrew, to your right there. Andrew, right over here. Andrew, put your right thumb on there. Right thumb. Let me assist you. Andrew, you seem more out of it right now. My what? You seem very exhausted or tired. Oh, I am. I'm very exhausted and tired, actually. Is that from the Xanax that you took? Uh, no, not really. Andrew. You're going to be being charged with intoxicated pedestrian on a highway? Mm-hmm. Okay, you were safety safety issue for yourself being out there. And you're going to be charged with possession of Xanax, which is a Schedule Four drug, controlled substance, okay? You're also being charged with possession with intent to sell. I wasn't even selling them. It's not normal for a person to have 43 Xanax without a prescription, not a prescription bottle, loose in multiple pockets. That's why you're being charged with that. Uh, the average, the yeah, average person uh, would have a prescription or, yeah, yeah, I understand, but I've never sold one of that, one of those Xanax in my life. I swear, I, I don't know where they came from. No, in the car, you told me that you knew where they came from, but you didn't want to tell me where they came from. <laughs> nah, man. All right, whatever. OK, Andrew. Take a seat back in the front row there. Man, you guys are just asking some okay. questions. You guys, you would ask a kindergartner, can you guys please go away? OK. We're going to try to get Andrew through the process as quickly as possible. Damn. For a traffic ticket. How long but ago? 2012. Where are you coming up. from? I dress like that. This Me and my girlfriend went out to dress last night to a club and had a good time. Okay. I think I'll give her a shirt, Sarge. She's only in for traffic. How much is the bill? 
Um, they didn't say anything yet. I was hoping that she'd fall in that program where you'll have an hour to call. She did. I mean, is it the first time that I went to work? First time ever. Yeah. Ever, ever? Ever, ever. Do you remember what it's for? A traffic speeding. For real? For real. How, long, how old is the ticket? 2012. Do you know it's 2015? That's three years old, right? Do you know okay. I haven't been to Vegas in my... Well, now you know. <laughs> we remember warrants. Uh, Here's your phone. So get like three numbers that you need and get the one that you know for a fact that a person will come down here and post your bell or help you post your bell. Yeah, I got three at least. That's like you have an hour for them to get down here to post it, and then you'll get Thank released you. at that time. But if they're not down here within that hour, then, I have to then you're stuck. OK, here, put this shirt on because we're being nice. Thanks. You're welcome. Come on up right here. So, okay. Yeah, this, right. this right here is a copy of your charge. You take that with you. It says that you're in here for basic speed. You have a fine of $615. Can I have Kelly's bail? Possibly. Once you get on the other side, intake services will talk to you. Hey, Sarge, we got that girl on the traffic warrant, but just so you know what happened, the story was is that she met a Saudi Arabian national at the casino. Okay. They uh, exchanged money. You know she agreed to go up to the room with him. Okay. And there was a misunderstanding as to what services would be provided and how much that would cost. Oh. So he ended up calling security, and security detained everybody, and okay. they called us to come down there. Upon our investigation, he didn't want to pursue any further charges. However, upon that records check, we discovered she had that warrant. Really? She said she didn't know about it, but when I arrested her and put her in a the car, then okay. she admitted to me that she knew she had a warrant. But ultimately, she wanted to have sex for money. Okay. Oh, it's more of a story. I'm just calling to see if I can um, have you post bail. So how did you end up here in okay, the first this place? this is what happened. There's this guy, this Saudi Arabian guy, accusing okay. my girlfriend of stealing $300 from him. No. Yeah, so the whole, this is how this all went down. He decided to press charges. As okay. we're walking out of the hotel, right. they came up to us and were like, oh, you two, stop. And then they like, took our IDs. I was like, OK, fine, take us to the thing. Because we had gone up there, but maybe he was just drunk or something. But nobody took Think of a drunk or not. Yeah, nobody took his stupid money. And he is sitting here trying to like almost like manhandle my friend over nothing. Yeah, I was about oh, to press charges. Oh, the Saudi charges. Arabian guy? Yeah, I was about no to be like, oh, can I press charges for him trying to rape or something? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I didn't want to get all feisty with them because it was already looking bad because he was the one staying there and you know sure. what I mean? It was his room. It was his room. Uh, so then they just questioned us. We were both innocent. We didn't have the money. Right. And they were like, okay, you guys can walk. But I had a traffic violation. And I was right. like, what? What do you mean I'm going to stay here? I'm going with her. And they're like, no, you have the warrant. You're going to jail. My girlfriend's on her way right now to his bail. Pay the all of it? Yeah. Oh, sweet. So I'll be out of here in like an hour. You're pretty much, in essence, going to have to wait in line to get out of jail, to, no. so to speak. No, I'm dead serious. That's how it works. As long as you don't have any other warrants, then you get released from custody today. But it probably won't be until, like, probably about 8, 9-ish tonight. For real. I'm being honest with you. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that you're going to be out in two hours. That's We're yeah, not California. o'clock tonight. We're not California. OK? OK. All right. Thank and you. And it's not the slogan, whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. No, it's, it's coming back. It's all hype. It's back with me right now. No, it's all hype right there. It's all hype. <laughs> okay. All right, take care, Rob. Thank you. Take care. And the doors open up, and they leave me outside. I'm going to go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home. I've been thinking about my home.